When the beasts of the night loom large under the alluring presence of the full moon, the hunters work in haste to eradicate the scourge. Blades of steel clash against tooth and claw. Iron rends the flesh from the unholy. As dawn breaks over the sullen landscape, both beast and hunter retire until the next hunt. But not all beasts seek refuge from the sun, as the scent of innocent blood is immensely intoxicating. But what is the simple layman to do when such abominations threaten the sanctity of day? As with this rare kind of creature, there is also a rare kind of hunter. One who makes sure that beasts outlasting the morrow's dawn don't survive long. While all hunters have a common goal of eliminating the creatures of the night, some succumb to the egregious bloodlust and slaughter fellow hunters, so they may bask themselves in their share of crimson beast nectar. It drives some to insanity, making them indistinguishable from the very monsters they hunt albeit far more terrifying. So what may happen when a hunter, still unsated from a night of hunting, hears tell of prey lurking beneath the sun, while all but one hunter is resting from endless hours of battle? What deluded jealousy, a maddening bloodthirst, more than a need, as though their very being depended on the life essence pouring out of every orifice, not restricted to monsters, but whomever may get in the way. The heinous thought of even one other hunter getting even a drop of blood out of these beasts before this crazed one can finish juicing each and every one of them is too much to bear. Overcome with furtheredness, they were obliged to hunt other hunters, for human blood tastes so sweet. <laughs>